message. New message. Hey, King George. It's it's us, uh, the colonies. Hey, listen. I know you and us have been together for nearly 200 years now, but, you know, sometimes things don't work out. And, well, we really feel like we need to break up with you. I, we just gotta do our own thing for a while, you know? It's obvious that, in a relationship like this, we need to be treated with respect and decency, and, you know, you haven't been doing that. So, we got every right to walk away from this relationship and have a little us time, as they say. Now, I know, I know, we really shouldn't break up for no good reason. And there are other couples out there dealing with even worse issues, but they're finding a way to make it work. I mean, just look at Spain and its colonies. They get into a fight every other week, but they're still holding on. For now. But, you know, you've just heard us over and over again, and... It's at the point where we just can't take it anymore. You're just so controlling all the time with your mercantilism and stuff. I mean, we hate to do this, but we have a list here of everything you've done wrong lately. I think you need to hear this. Okay, first off, you never listened to our ideas. You know, even when they were really good ones, you still never listened. Uh, we always had to go where you wanted to go. You know, even if it was super inconvenient for us to get to from our place. Uh, let's see. Whenever we hang out, you make all the decisions and never give us a say. You're always hovering over us. You know, sometimes we want our own space without your red-coated friends always spying on us all the time. It gets really annoying after a while. Uh, you never let us hang out with our other friends, like the French and the Dutch. Stop being so jealous all the time. Gosh. You always make us pay for everything. I mean, we wouldn't mind picking up the tab on wars and stuff every once in a while, but it would be kind of nice if you would ask, at least, at first, okay? Uh, whenever you thought something was wrong, you'd always force us over to your place, which, if you didn't know, is a whole ocean away. It takes a little bit of time to get there. Okay, what else? Oh, you've been spreading rumors about us to your friends, and they've been calling us names and attacking us wherever we go. Okay, tell those Hessians to lay off already. We're sick of it. Oh, and also, you know our neighbors, the Indians? Well, they were mad at us already because we took their apartment, which was kind of mean, but we had to do what we had to do. But you've been making it worse by encouraging them to bang on the walls and leave stink bombs at the door. And, you know, we could go on and on with these grievances, but, you know, it really doesn't matter. Because every time we try to talk to you about everything that's going wrong in our relationship, you just ignore us and go do something even worse. And, you know, time and time again, we've told ourselves that things will just get better, that eventually you'll listen and change your ways. But we realize now, it's just never going to happen. So yeah, as of right now, we are no longer together. Now we have the power to do what we want, go where we want, and hang out with whomever we want. You know, it's just what we have to do to keep our dignity as colonies, or should we say, independent states. Whew! Boy, that feels good to say. Uh, so yeah, anyway, sorry about the long voicemail, but we just had to get that off our chests. Uh, we'll send you a declaration sometime soon, just to make this whole thing official. But, yeah, this is goodbye. Sincerely, John Hancock, etc., etc. Oh, and P.S. Don't let the door hit you on your royal rump on the way out. This is March for Galicia. New message. Hey, buddy King George, this is Canada, eh? We'd love for you to stay over at our place for a while. 